Well, now there's a surprise. Couple Dev has taken himself off just when he has the chance to have a go at Ellison. And it's to be Meninda Singh. drifting that ball into the right-hander and having it go straight on. That one drifted in, but it spun away as well. It's also very well played by Downton. So England's fight back continues against Meninda Singh from the nursery end. Shastri, amazing because it's quite a surprise that Downton hit the only fielder placed back there out of the close ring. Yes, so the ball just keeps running just for India and against England. That really could have gone a number of different places. You can call it good field placing by Kappel and his bowler. And perhaps Paul Down needn't really have played that sweep stroke. Pitching right outside the leg stump he couldn't have been able to be w he could have just kicked, kicked it away but he went for the runs and he's just picked out shastri standing about 40 yards just behind the square yes if uh, Beninda singh had pitched in that foot mark or on the edge of it it would have been some uneven bounce. That may have been the reason it went in the... And in fact, I think it just got the edge. <laughs> John Embury to take strike. happening to him there one moment the bat was turning and the next the ball was coming back at him at dolly height 170 for nine it's going to be an interesting to bowl to philip edmonds oh, well caught I'll take that back. We'll just start again. It's 176 for nine. Well, Melinda Singh thought it was out. He was down at this end before the ball, nearly. But uh, no reply from the umpire. Well, it certainly hit the pad first. Whether it touched the bat afterwards, I don't know. We can't tell from up there. India reached this stage of impasse with. Paul Downton and Ellison in their long stand. They under appeal for everything. That concludes the proceedings from Day Gents. And you know it almost ended in the same fashion. It was Downton who had a swing at the left arm spinner and was caught, and so did Edmonds. Fancied the cover drive. Aninda Singh. The man who has seen it all over in the end. 180 all out England. And that's not nearly as many as David Gower would have preferred. I reckon he would have wanted something around about the 250 mark to set India a proper target tomorrow. 19 to Richard Ellison and then the struggle at the end for Embury, Dilly, 
and Edmonds taking up time as well as trying to score runs and uh, only 172 runs scored in the day. Kapildev, the Indian skipper, will be delighted by his own bowling figures there, 4 for 52, and also by the match position, which shows India in a very, very strong state at this moment. 134 runs needed to win.